All right, joining me on the couch, we have Logan Verrett, the president of the Buck Barra Memorial Foundation. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Of course, of course. So I was reading over a little bit about the foundation. You all do a lot for the community. And coming up really soon, your third annual potato cook-off. Yes. So first, talk to me about the foundation and all that you do. Okay, so our foundation started, uh, our good friend Buck, he used to uh, have a potato cook-off at his house. And he would have live bands and just a group of friends would get together and cook potatoes any kind of way. And uh, tragically, we lost Buck uh, on July 6, 2021. So a group of our friends decided we wanted to get together and, you know, keep his legacy alive. We wanted people to still know Buck. So uh, we decided to start a potato cook-off and we didn't think it was going to get as big as it did. Uh, we started a, our first annual potato cook-off was in the Cecile R. Poche Memorial Park and Parks. We had some bands, we did a cook-off, and our goal was to raise uh, enough money to give, you know, one or two scholarships to kids from the Acadian area who had lost a parent, a graduating okay. senior who was going to further their education. Well, after our first annual event, we had such a huge success. Mm -hmm. We ended up having to expand our scholarship to not only current high school graduating seniors, but also current college students from the Acadian wow. area who had lost a parent. So in our first year, we had 18 scholarship applicants, and we were able to give scholarships to all 18 applicants. So then come year two last year, we ended up raising even more money. We had 23 scholarship applicants, and we gave money to all of them. So in the past two years, we've given $75,000 in scholarships to students from the Acadiana area. That's awesome. So you all are in year three planning yes, for the cook-off. Talk to me about the potato cook-off. How <clears throat> does that uh, go about? So it's going to be next Saturday, March 2nd. Um, in the Cecile R. Poche Memorial Park and Parks. <clears throat> the gates are going to open up at 7 o'clock. That's when the cooking team start coming to start cooking. Uh, we also have a cornhole tournament that starts at 9 o'clock. You come before that to pre-register. Uh, we're going to have live bands throughout the whole day. We have a band called En Cachette starting in the morning. And then after that, we're going to have Lloyd Stretch, followed by Sideshow. And ending the show is going to be Daryl Grow and the High Rolling Band. We're going to have... Um, it's $10 to get in okay. uh, for adults, $5 for kids. It's bring your own ice chest. We don't sell alcohol, but you can bring your alcohol. We do have concession stands, mm -hmm. uh, but your entry fee allows you to sample all the potatoes that we're going to have from the cook-off teams. We generally have about 40 cooking teams Ooh, and like so 50 uh, cornhole teams, so there's a lot of potatoes to try. Yeah, you could get full on oh, that. Oh, yeah, and you're going to have potatoes. We've had some really eccentric stuff win, and mm -hmm. we've had some really basic stuff win, mm -hmm. you know, so it's cook potatoes any way you want you have to cook at least 15 pounds of potatoes awesome okay now really quickly before we go for the scholarship if they're interested how can they apply for that so after our event uh, on march 2nd you'll go to our facebook page and we're going to release the scholarship application um, and our scholarship amount just depends on how well we do on our events so the past two years, our average has been about $1,800 a scholarship, but wow. all you need to do is go to our Facebook page after our event, be on the lookout for it, and um, the application will be on there for you to send in to us. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having college. us. Thank you. Of course, for all of the information about the Bugbara Memorial Foundation or the Potato Cook-Off or their scholarships, you can visit their website, their Facebook page, or call the number at the bottom of your screen. We'll be right back at Katie Anna.